All right, guys, I'm back out. Got the trolling motor this time. Just testing it out, making sure it works. I'm gonna look for bass more today. It's pretty hot, and then I'll uh, probably try for tog if that fails. So let me just do a quick little exploration in the bay. See if I can find one, and then uh, try some tog. Look at that, Glenn. That is beautiful. Problem is, it's a little frozen still. The underwater camera down just to see what's down there. Got your own camera. Yeah, water's pretty murky, so you're not gonna get to really see it too much, but you'll see that blackfish's shadow right here to the right, and then he kind of goes away and then comes back really quickly and takes bait. So, yeah, the behavior here to note is just that they're swimming very quickly. So, the other clip that really was the only one that came out was here, you'll see the shells that I was using of the clams for bait and there's a blackfish here and you know, he's hovering over those shells probably picking out the little tidbits of clam that I left on the shell so yeah definitely it attracted at least one fish here and I really do think it's a good idea to chum and in this case I think it was even better that the clam shells sunk right to the bottom right under my boat Can't let them go left or right. They can only come up. And with this light rod, it's not going to be easy. Really, this is only my the only spot I can fish. I can only really fish right here. There we go. There's some bites. Monster. Big female. Big female. I'm 
18 and a half. Close mouth. About 18 and a quarter. Really nice female. But I'm gonna let her go. Beauty. We'll let her go and make some more babies. Nice fish. There's that that thing I'm noticing again too. They have this like membrane, you see that? They don't have that in fall. Alright. Let's you on your way. Such a nice fish. Such a subtle bite. You gotta get them out, but you also just don't want to like force the line around the comb and like pull hard on it because then, then you're gonna snap the line. But if you let, you know, let them go around the piling and just keep constant pressure and then like try to, you know, maneuver him out a little bit and he'll swim out, then, you know, you have a better likelihood that whatever this scrapes up on is not like pulling hard on it. That was awesome. Like an 18 inch, 18 inch one. Like first week of April. This is crazy. Let's try again. I waited a while for that one. You know? Probably waited good like five minutes, no bites. I picked up, I moved to a couple different spots, tried five minutes, five minutes, and went back to this spot. And then within like three minutes. And there's a tap. Calm down. Nice little guy. These fish are not scared to go shallow when the water's dirty. Slow down a lot. Let's try let's try a fresh piece. That's, can't remember if that's what worked last time to get that bigger one. does look washed out. If the clam looks washed out, it's not good. I'm gonna have to leave soon. The water's still pretty slack. It's about to turn, but I'm gonna have to go soon. I'm losing daylight. I do think there's still a couple around though. 52 degrees surface, surface water temperature. There we go. Oh, he swam up. I forgot I wasn't tied down. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Another decent one. I haven't seen a whole lot of males. We'll 
See, that's a fish. That's a fish. See my line dancing? Ah, oh, just a little too early. Don't have much time though. This is probably, probably one of the last drops. That's a fish, that's a fish. Man. It's such a subtle bite. Oh. This, this fish has my name. There we go. It's a smart fish or a not very hungry fish. Oh my goodness. He's toying with me. I think my jig head maybe is too heavy. He feels it as soon as he starts taking it. All right, I guess it's too dark. They win. Fish wins. Yeah, and all around pretty nice little quick outing. That was a very slow bite, but definitely there was some quality in the mix versus quantity. And you know, as much as I love to eat blackfish, I think in the spring, I prefer to release them. So just let them spawn. And uh, hopefully the population just, you know, continues to, to grow because they're an awesome fish. All right, yeah, didn't really get to try for bass. I think they're starting to make their way in here. But there's not a school yet, that's for sure. All right, see you next time.